right here are the three stages of the balsa. This is the uh, the two pieces laminated, the one sixteenth and the quarter inch taper. You don't have to have the taper uh, stock. You can do it out of just solid, um, you know, square stock. But I feel that it it takes a lot of the uh, a lot of the sanding off if you if you use the taper. Um, and you can find that at any hobby store. I'm going to cut the width of the blade down to two and a quarter inches. That gives me this. Then it's time to sand in our profile. What I did is, as per the print, I made a little gauge, but I made mine out of um, out of aluminum, so I can just stick it on there and see how close I am. And as I sand, I check it all the way down to make sure it's nice and pretty, which it is. And uh, that's it. So, the gauge comes in very, very handy. Right now, what I gotta do is I gotta cut this two and a quarter inches. knife two passes should break it free quarters from the trailing edge. At three quarters, we know we're going to see in this. Yes? But uh okay. On this side it's gonna be like five eighths. Or as we say down in Virginia, five eighths. This is just for reference, okay? This is just to get you close and I know roughly where I, where I gotta sand. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna start breaking this edge, okay? Don't go all the way down to here, just break it like that. And I get aggressive and then go side to side to blend it. Aggressive right there. And then side to side to kind of blend it in a little bit. I love this permagrit. I gotta order some more of these. I've used this one for about three years now. Okay. Next thing I gotta do. 
Okay, now we check. Obviously, it's not there yet. We just now started this side. We're going to have to rake this down also. Don't worry, don't get all worked up yet. It's not difficult. Alright, we were like this on the leading edge side. We're going to have to gonna have to drop that angle down like that you see what I'm doing see how that's uh, approaching this line so I'm gonna try and keep keep this the same uh, Grit rocks. trailing edge okay roughly I don't know if you can see that I drew my profile and then this is also going to be on the bottom where we're going to do our uh, our taper you know we're gonna we're gonna I guess we'll take this will be like a sixteenth here and this will be I don't know, maybe 3.30 seconds right there. So, anyway. Let me get my long rule. <coughs> and uh, I think I'm going to draw a line. Let's see. I will go three quarters of an inch from the trailing edge. How about that? How's that sound? Three quarters. Is that what I want? Let's give her a look. Let's see where we're at. Uh huh. See some daylight, right? We still got more sanding to do. This is still flat right here. So we definitely got some more sanding to do. We're going to go back to the leading edge side and I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a, a steep angle here. This will help get that radius in. Our wire is actually gonna be touching the beginning of where I'm sanding. So I'm sanding like a compound angle, you know? Like one here, one here. Now I'm gonna go real real shallow and try and connect from here to that to that line. And I actually want to scratch right above that line. If I scratch that line as I'm sanding, and then I know that I'm not going to have a flap in the middle of the blade. I want a flap. Now, After you've been doing this for a while, I'll show you a secret. As I sand, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. See what I'm doing? I'm going. I'm knocking that radius right in there. See what I'm doing? Yeah, it's gonna take a little practice. You'll be able to do it. This old country board and do it. You guys can do it. Come on now.